my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is Faces of a Solar Eclipse. So a solar eclipse is when the moon uh, comes between the earth and the sun. So it will be a position like this. So instead of being able to see the sun, you see the shadow of the moon moving in front of the sun. Now there's different types of um, solar eclipses. So first of all, we're at a new moon phase. Right? So if we're standing here on Earth, we're not actually seeing the moon illuminated, we'll see it completely dark. Now there's two types of solar eclipses, uh, full solar eclipse uh, and partial. So the total solar eclipse here, um, you can look at its stages as one, two, three, four, and five. Now the, you see the sun and then you see the moon. And then the moon is going to start moving in front of the sun and what you see is kind of a crescent. And that's like the first phase of, in, of the total solar eclipse. And then you'll see the moon block the sun entirely and you'll see kind of like a ring of light behind it kind of shift a little bit as it transits. And then you get the other crescent pointing the other way, and this is the fourth uh, stage, and then it passes all the way through and then you, get, you have your fifth stage. Now what happens when you have a partial uh, solar eclipse? So because the moon is inclined five degrees from the orbital uh, plane of the Earth, so we have this mismatch between the sun and the moon. So sometimes they're not lined up perfectly, but you see like the moon might be, uh, let's say like over here. So then it's not right in front of the sun, but it's, instead it has some, si some sort of angular distance from it. So here in the first stage, you can see that they're not perfectly aligned. So you'll see something like this. And then you'll see kind of like a little chunk of the sun and then here you will have a crescent but it's pretty high and tends to be kind of like upright. And then you just take about half in the third stage and what happens is you get a crescent but it's pointing downwards instead of sideways. And then in the next stage you just see the transition as it completely clears um, the eclipse. So this is the stages, the phases for the total solar eclipse and these are the stages for the partial solar eclipse. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and these are the phases of the solar eclipse.